Uh, now, this is an incredible innovation. I had to share this story with you. I love all health stories. And this is one that's actually been designed by British people. This is incredible. It's a British-designed analysis machine capable of curing liver failure, and it could be rolled out in the NHS hospitals within three years, I know. Now, this, this, this device, which was developed by researchers from University College London, that's UCL, it filters toxins from the blood of people with liver failure, thus allowing the liver time to regenerate itself. Now, the liver is one of the most forgiving organs, so it's able to regenerate itself, unlike many of the others. And it's hoped that if and when this machine is rolled out, it will greatly increase survival rates for liver failure and reduce the demand for liver transplants, which is quite incredible. So let's speak to Rajiv Jalan. He's a professor of hepatology at the University College of London. Wow. That's amazing. Isn't it incredible? Wow. Well, thank so, Raj, you. Thank talk, you for having me here. It's a pleasure. First, talk to me about this machine and, and also who, who could it help? So, look, this machine is uh, designed to take out the nasty substances that accumulate when your liver does not work. And so, therefore, this should be useful for patients with liver failure who have nearly 30% of chances of dying within 28 days of hospitalization. Mm. So therefore, it targets nearly, I think, about 1.5 million people around the world. Well, that is quite incredible. And did, as I understood it, um, the person who actually created this machine spent years and years coming to this. And is it an adaptation of a kidney dialysis machine or is that how it works? Is it in a similar way as that? Yeah, so in kidney dialysis, kidneys are simple because they take out water-soluble substances. That's what a kidney dialysis machine does. But liver is this amazing factory that controls the function of all the organ systems in the body. It is a metabolic, uh, you know, it's a metabolic genius. It sort of takes everything, organizes everything, organizes the immune responses, and also controls the function of each organ of your body. So for instance, when the liver fails, all the organs in the body fail. And so therefore, we understood why uh, these organs are failing, why the liver is not regenerating. And what this machine does is to take all these nasty substances out so that these organs can recover and the liver can regenerate. It's quite incredible that it can regenerate. I wish teeth would do the same thing. Crocodiles can regenerate new teeth, you know that? They can keep making teeth. Yes. If we could make more teeth, I'd be so happy. Uh, but uh, but uh, speaking of this, though, so somebody with liver failure, this could help. What about things like liver yes. cancer and stuff like that? Could, could parts of the cancer be taken out and then you could allow the liver to regenerate and regenerate healthy cells? Yeah? Absolutely right. So, wow. you know, you could take out more of the liver if there's liver cancer. But, of course, this could be used in people with severe sepsis. Right. It could be used okay. in people getting serious chemotherapy, which damages the liver and produces multi-organ failure. So any syndrome that's associated with cytokine storm, and you might remember mm. this word COVID. from the COVID world, yeah, yeah. would be helped by this machine. Really? Because obviously the cytokine storm is when your immune system literally attacks everything. It becomes over hyperactive and then starts attacking all yeah. your vital organs and eventually it will, it will take you out unless you stop the immune system from doing that. But, of course, if you stop the immune exactly system from right. working, then you are now vulnerable to any kind of infection as well, as I understand it. Exactly. Right. Yeah. That's interesting. So this machine, how soon can it be out there? I mean, you know, people will be hearing this thinking, gosh, I know somebody's got liver cancer, liver failure. Where can I get on this machine or where can they find out more? So at this moment in time, it is not available for general use. We are still looking for funding in order to do the final clinical trial. So we think we need to do one more clinical trial to show as to the benefits that we have found with its use in our current trial translates into improvement in survival. Mm, mm. So that is one study that we still need to do, and that's why we think we need three years to get it to patients in every NHS hospital uh, so that these patients can access them. So is there um, a trial that people who want to who've been listening or watching this thinking, Wow, I'd, I, you know, because some, you know, this could be somebody's last hope to do a trial. Is there somewhere they can get in touch if they can be part of this trial? Well, at the moment, the trial is not running. Mm -hmm. We are still looking for funds in order to start that trial. Right. But we are hopeful that we should be able to start that within this year. Well, how do you get the funds? Because if, if anyone's watching, listening, who can help you, help fund you, 
because that's an incredible thing and it could save many, many lives. And the, the quicker you can get it out there and test it, the better, right? Absolutely right. So UCL charities or role-free hospital charities or UCL charities will very happily receive any funds that anybody wants to donate towards bringing this trial forward. Well, listen, Rajiv, it's been fantastic talking to you. Very inspirational. I'm so happy to hear that, and hopefully it will be something that will be rolled out very, very quickly. Rajiv Jalan, he's a professor of hepatology at the University College of London. Thank you so much.